Hey, this is Honor Serene for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the audio channel mappings feature introduced in Premiere Pro CS3. Prior to this release, Premiere Pro 2.0 shipped with source channel mappings, which among other things permitted users to split stereo tracks into mono audio tracks for greater audio control. However, that feature was limiting because it was very time consuming and the process was extremely long. For an overview of the old method, please see prior episodes of the Creative Cow Premiere Pro podcast. With the release of Premiere Pro CS3, there is an application-wide preference to automatically set audio channel mappings on import. To do so, go to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Audio, and set the default track format to mono. If you're on a PC, this option can be found by going to Edit, Preferences, Audio. Now relaunch the application and import an audio file. Drag and drop the imported audio file onto the timeline. That's it. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit creativecow.net.